fantastic for completing the last four videos now we are going to learn about our next topic which is input box how the input box works in vivi.net let's learn in detail in this video we are going to learn how to design a form something like this where customer can type their data into the input box and the moment you submit it should be able to show the details your email id so and so so this is how the design can be done using vivi.net let's see how this design can be achieved first of all i am on the blank form the very first visual element that you need is a text box so what we will do simply type text in the toolbox and drag and drop three text boxes for our design and then the next thing that you need is a label so what do you do drag and drop labels into your form and the third uh, the next element that you need is a button so drag and drop the button now the most important part we have to align everything properly so what do you do simply select all the three text boxes what i'm going to do i'm going to first increase the length of them and then click on format and there is an option called align and i'm going to click on left align so what happened you can see everything is now aligned same thing for the labels i'm going to select all the three labels click on format align left align now what i will do i'm going to select this three things and i'm going to keep it somewhere near here okay now let's align these things properly so what i will do first of all let's change the uh, labels okay i'll open the property panel and pin this property and label so what is the first one let's enter first name so you can simply say first name and because in my design i am not going to use the name of the label so i am going to not change anything i'll simply leave it as it is but as a best practice you can go and change the name at the design property so i'll leave it as it as it is and i'm going to only type the text first name has appeared now for the second label let's change it to uh last name last space name and same thing you could do for the first one first space name because these are not the variables these are just the display things right how it will appear in the form and the third one i would make it as email id okay now what we will do we'll keep this and you can follow along the line and you can set them appropriately okay done now what i want i want all this to be properly aligned format align left it's all good and this button let's name it the text to appear is submit that looks fine if you want you could slightly increase the size something like this okay and i'm i want to keep it here now i will select all these elements and click on format and click on um i want to keep it center in the form horizontally we can see it has moved same thing i want to again click on format center in form vertically so now what happened the entire design has appeared at the right place okay next thing these are the text boxes where the user can type i'm going to select the first one and here there is a design right for this design property what you do you need to change this to a right variable so that you can identify which text box is this one so i will simply say txt box i am going to use pascal case text box txt box and i would say first name every word of the variable starting with a capital letter similar way i'll select the second one and i am going to say txt box last name and the third one i am going to simply say txt box email id is it clear so this is how 
I have given all the names to the variables. Even for the button, let's change the design name. So what we will say, button submit. Okay, so now once you have designed everything, all you do, your code has to happen when you hit on submit, something has to show. So what you will do, you will double click on the button, not on the text boxes or on the labels, rather you would double click on the button. So the moment you double click on the button, what happens is this window would come. I'm going to minimize or hide the property panel. And you can see private sub button submit click. When you are clicking on this submit button, when you click on it, then what you want the program to do? That is the question. Very good. So now we have come here. I'm going to create some space so that it looks a little clean. Okay. Now, what are the three things that you are asking? The first name you are asking, last name you are asking, email ID you are asking. So first of all, let's create some three variables. I'll say dim. I'll create a string variable called first name as string enter dim string last name as string again dimension string email as string pretty simple so you have created three variables now how we will assign the values to the variable let's take the name of this variable string first name is equals to so the very the first name in which text box are we entering the first name if we go to the design we are entering in this one if you see what is the design name the design name of this button is text box first name similar way this is text box last name and this is email id right these are the three names we'll go back and let's write the text box which contains the value which will contain the value during runtime when you are running the program so the name starts with text so if you see the moment i'm typing txt all of this button names are appearing one by one let me select this one and hit on tab dot you have to use a method this is a method this is a property of that text box text that means we are simply saying if somebody is entering some value, some text here, you assign that value to this variable. Okay. Now the same thing we are going to continue for the second variable, which is last name tab equals to txt box. And I'm going to select the last name text box. Hit on tab and then simply say text hit enter. Clear. Now let's use the provide some value to the email variable. So I will say string email equals to, then let's take the name of the email ID text box, hit on tab and dot text. So what is happening now is all this text boxes that is there in the design, in the form, whatever values are there, whatever text will be typed, it is going to assign it to the variables. Okay, it has assigned the values. Now, what, what you would like to do? You would like to show a message maybe? So I would say message box. This is the new way of typing message box dot show. Okay, this is the new way of showing the message box. And in the bracket, within double quote, I am going to write something different. So what I'm going to write here, message box show. And I'm going to first use the variable which is I will say hello, give a space and use a ampersand symbol and use string first name. That means hello. If I'm entering Rakesh, it says hello Rakesh with a space, right? I've given a space here and then ampersand. Uh, then I would like to type, uh, I would like to give another space by writing a double quote and space. And I'm going to write ampersand. Ampersand is nothing but concatenation. We are joining one one oh, variable. And then here I'm saying string last name tab. So what is happening now? Hello, Rakesh space. And then it will say Kumar. Let's say I'm typing the last name. And then I'll say ampersand. And within double quote, I will write, I'll put a comma after that name, it will give a comma, then a space. 
and it should say your email id is okay and then give a space and then after this you have to write a ampersand okay within double quote i'm just writing a sentence okay within double quote whatever you type it is going to appear ampersand and then i want to show the email id so in email id is in which variable in str email right so i'll simply hit on tab so now you can see the entire code is written now i have shown you whenever your code becomes very lengthy what you do after ampersand let's say i'm going to keep my mouse cursor here and i'm going to use a underscore and hit on enter so what happened the underscore would automatically disappear and then your code will also not give any kind of a problem simple so this is what i'm typing now i think the coding is done let's go ahead and run this let's save it and run it so you can see the box has appeared and i'm going to type let's say rakesh kumar and i'll give some uh, false email id at the rate test one two three four five dot com for example and now i'm going to hit on submit so what happened here the entire output has come hello rakesh kumar your email id is with a space rakesh kumar test 1234.com click on okay now if i type ramesh for example or I, let me say type deepak for example hit on submit you can see the new value has been taken hello deepak kumar your email id is whatever it is right based on the value you are providing it is appearing now the question that comes to your mind why these values are not getting cleared you can see the same value still there how can i clear these values okay no problem let's do that so how will you clear so remember this is the property right text box first name text box last name dot text this is what shows the text so i'll simply copy paste this three codes okay and here what i'm going to do i will simply say equals to and within double quote i don't want to give any value so this is what i'm doing it i'll copy it paste paste so now what what happened all the text boxes has appeared but again this text boxes dot text will get a blank value there is no value so all these text boxes will have a blank value so that means i'm clearing now let me run it let me save it and run it and show you exactly what happens for example let's write some other name for example i'm going to write um uh let's say shreya okay and then i am saying kuma and then shk at the rate test 123.com something i have written now the moment i hit on submit what happens the value has appeared hello shreya kumar your email id has come now it is running the message box is currently running the moment you click on okay this three lines will run now i'm going to click on okay the message box line is complete now what happened this three executed and you can see the entire data has been cleared from the text box so this is another way of clearing a text box okay this is a, this is a, this is a way to clear your text box values that is entered by the customer so thank you for learning we are going to learn many things continue to follow the series and do type completed as and when you are completing any content in my channel simply say completed that gives a sense of completion and that gives let me know that you guys are actually going through the videos and you are actually completing them so please do comment completed i love to see them in the comment section so let's meet into the next video thank you